Hi, my name is Ainoa and I'm part of the Industry Solutions team here at MongoDB. Today, I'll show you how easy it is to build up a GenAI Ops architecture with MongoDB, one that enables network chart for issue detection, root cause analysis, and overall network introspection with far less manual effort. Instead of looking through multiple sheets of data, you can simply ask questions and get meaningful insights. Here we have the architecture diagram. In just a moment, you'll see the network chat running as a Python application where you can issue queries and receive answers in real time. Before querying the data, we need to ingest it into the architecture. MongoDB's stream processing capability allows us to process logs, metrics, and auditing data on the fly, creating a 360 degree view of network activity. Each question goes through the initial processing step. The first pass run of the LLM generates a MongoDB aggregation pipeline, selecting the right data items to analyze. In parallel, a vector search could be executed to retrieve relevant information, though this part is beyond the scope of today's demo. Once the relevant data is identified within MongoDB, a second LLM pass takes place. Here, the model converts raw data into natural language explanations, performs statistical inference to detect patterns and anomalies, and it can even identify unusual access patterns to help pinpoint the root cause of any issue. For this demo, we're working with server logs. Let's take a quick look at the data model. It's a typical time series data model. We have a timestamp for each log entry, a path field containing the request payload and an IP of the originating request, and city and country information, which is derived from the IP. Now let's dive into the demo and see it in action. In this demo, you'll see two screens. On the right-hand side, you see the chat window and the browser. On the left-hand side, you see the shell with a Python script that prints the aggregation pipelines generated by the first LLM pass. These pipelines are then executed in MongoDB to retrieve relevant data. You start by saying hi to the system, now let's suppose customers are calling the customer call center, complaining about hanging connections and stop video streams in the Paris region. As a network operator, I need to understand what's happening across my network in France. The LLM translates my questions into an aggregation pipeline. It filters for traffic from France, groups the request by day of the week, and returns a structure result set of relevant data. This data is then processed in a cycle LLM pass, which generates a relevant chatbot response in the chat window. The system highlights that high traffic times tend to occur at the beginning of the week. Since this insight is interesting, I ask a follow-up question. Can you provide me with a breakdown of access paths per weekday? Another aggregation pipeline is created for this request, which you can see again in the shell on the left. Within seconds, I receive a detailed breakdown of access paths. One particular payload path slash daily catches my attention. Now I want to understand in which other cities this payload appears in the logs. The system generates another aggregation pipeline and almost instantly I get the result. Requests for this payload are not only coming from Paris, but also from Frankfurt, New York, and Austin, Texas. If you want to learn more about how MongoDB is used at the largest telcos worldwide for mission-critical projects, you can have a look at our website listed down below. Thank you so much for watching.